Hi everyone, Shabbat Shalom. <clears throat> I oh, remember Shabbat that shalom, moment. Shalana. <laughs> I remember that moment very well. I was at a, a cantorial gathering in Palm Springs <clears throat> and they had a wonderful rendition of Chag Gadya. So I, I, I taped it with all of you guys in mind. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Shabbat Shalom, here. Mom and Dad. Hi, Rabbi Cutler. Hey, hello. How hello. are you, sweetheart? Where uh, your voice seems to be cutting in and out. I don't know why. Oh, but oh. okay. Hold on. <clears throat> All right. Let me try to fix that right now. <laughs> oh, okay. In the meantime, um, should we go forward? All right, I well, have. It. Okay. You have it. Hello, testing. Is this any better? You think? Let's introduce. No, going in and out. Nani and Tony. Well, while you're trying to fix that, and we are, shall we do the... Um, Candle blessing? Uh, okay. What's wrong with the mic? No, it's not the mic. All right, Abe's coming. Yay, Abe. It's Shabbat in New York. Well, while they're doing that test, I go to the Shabbat prayer. What's the roll in. Okay. We're going to start that. All right. Tell we'll do that while you're working on it. Okay. Hey, ask your technician to show his face. Yeah. Well, we'll come back to him. <laughs> uh, this is Tony Gonzalez and, and Nani Sinha who oh. sing in our choir and they fill in whenever we need them to be guest cantors. So here is the Shabbat prayer. May the Lord protect and defend you. May he always shield you from shame. May you come to be in Israel a shining name. May you be like Ruth and like Esther. May you be deserving of praise. Strengthen them, O Lord, and keep them from the stranger's ways. May God bless you. And grant you long life. May the Lord fulfill our Sabbath prayer for you. May God make you good mothers and wives. May you send you will care for you. May the Lord protect and defend you. May the Lord preserve you from pain. Favor them, O oh Lord, with happiness and peace. Oh, hear our 
song and we used to do it for many many years with um nolan porter and um patrice zappa, zappa porter and you know Anyways, patrice is, is with us right now she says <laughs> happy passover to us all and brenda oh. harrison shabbat shalom to you brenda it, it was patrice's wow. birthday not too long ago i think march 26 is that right patrice happy belated birthday to you Happy birthday. Yeah. Oh, I see it coming up. I hope okay. it was a joyous one. It may be Patrice. a healthy, joyous, love-filled year. God bless Patrice. Call us. Patrice, <laughs> please, I have to talk to you. <laughs> Why don't we like the Not candles? now, though. Yeah, after yeah. Shabbos, call. Yeah, we can officially start Shabbat. I'll light the candles for all of us. All right, honey. <laughs> Maruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech Ha'olam Asher kirishanu v'mitzvotam V'tivani l'alina Amen. <clears throat> Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Officially. Shabbat Shalom, my darling. So good to see your face. That beautiful face. And uh, I begin with a prayer from our collective hearts. Please, Lord, may I pray in an orthodox way, for I know what it is I am trying to say. But in reading and bowing and rising by text, and remembering in order that which comes next, I become so engrossed by the ritual and rite that the essence of prayer is lost from my sight. While attempting to follow by road as we're led, I feel that I'm worshiping ritual instead. Forgive me, Lord, if my indoctrination seems weak and there is no ancient language I speak. But Lord, would you listen if only I took words from my heart instead of a book? For I find no liturgy that for me can replace my own heartfelt words for your merciful grace. Then without eloquence, I raise up my hand and pray to you softly. Please, Lord, understand. Wow, I understand. Yes, you, you, you do understand. God bless you for understanding me. It's not easy sometimes. No, it's not, Jerry. No, no, but you do. You, <laughs> but I do. God bless. Um, and Chalsana, we, I, I <laughs> was hearing Shush Martin. Ah, oh, Lachado D. I love her, her, uh, her Lachado D, Shush Martin. Those of you who know Andy Martin, that, ooh, <laughs> I just uh, lowered my seat. Um, <clears throat> that's his lovely sister in the mountains of Tennessee, so... Enjoy the Chado yeah. Diaz. We welcome the Sabbath bride into our homes. Okay. Oh, 
שמו אחד, השם הוא תפארת, ואל איתי לה לחדודי, לקראת כלה, פני שבת נקבלה, לחדודי, לקראת כלה, פני שבת נקבלה, לקראת שבת לכו ונלך כי אם מקדם נסוך סוף מעשה במחשבה תחילה לך דודי לקראת קלה פני שבת נקבלה לך דודי לקראת קלה פני שבת נקבלה בואי ושלום Hey, that is terrific. Yeah. Shush, that birthday. was wonderful. Yay. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you, Shush. And Patrice's birthday yeah. was March 28th. Jeremy Vernon has found us. Shabbat Shalom, Jeremy. It's so good to be with wow. you. Jeremy, I, let's hope Jeremy is okay. I spoke to him this morning, as a matter of fact. So, Jeremy, I hope you're well, my darling. Oh, Stay well and be here. well. I, I send you a big hug and a kiss. Yeah. Gail, run, same to you. Oh, Shabbat Shalom. I miss you. It's great to be with you here. I'm seeing these people. Okay. <laughs> okay. I can't see who's uh, writing to us. Oh, there she is. Passover uh, yeah. is coming up, Daddy. Passover begins April 22nd. That's right. <laughs> and uh, so now we would like to introduce... Oh, wait. What? Don't just go right into it. If it's, it's Passover, um, anybody got great plans for Passover? We're going to have a uh, Passover Seder for our friends here in the desert on the 23rd, second night of Passover. Actually, and, uh, first night we're going to the Blooms. Well, actually, pre-first, because they're going to go to L.A. for the first. So we're doing it on the 20th, 21st. I'm, 20th. Abe and I are going to um, his brother's house the first night. And I think the second night we're hosting a couple of his friends. <clears throat> But tonight, if you guys want recipes, let me know. I made an incredible dinner and dessert that is Passover friendly. Um, <clears throat> and What the, is it? Well, the just I made uh, tilapia marsala with um, egg weenie pasta, which is fantastic, and broccoli wow. rock. And then I made um, dessert, strawberry orange cake with wow. uh, strawberry orange buttercream. And mm, I think it's a very easy recipe, and I think you'll find that too. And it's moist and delicious. And you can have it on Passover and every other day as well. Oh, that would be and it's interesting. Healthy. Yeah. You know, I, 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 we are the luckiest parents because Chalsana and Tess are the best chefs ever. They make the most amazing meals. And that gives me an idea for Passover. And I miss the Chalsana. Yes, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I, and I'll send it to you when I miss Tessa's cooking, because I'm sure she misses mine. <laughs> well, if, okay. if anyone needs a recipe, they yeah. should contact us, and we will ask Chelsana 
and she will send us the recipe. We'll send it out to whoever calls. Yes, absolutely. Yes. And and I'll 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 show you later tonight. I'll go out and get the the cake so you can see what it looks like. But um, Doug okay. wants to know. Forget the recipes. What about an invitation for for dinner? Well. If you are in New York, if you're in New York during Passover, you're invited. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'd love to be there, but hey, okay, we've got to yeah. wean off a little, I guess. Anyway, um, so yeah, we'd love to hear what you're doing. And uh, uh, there are such beautiful songs for Passover. Mm -hmm. So to get a little taste of it, uh, we're going to uh, introduce now Cantor Dan and Saya Mutlu to sing a wonderful, beautiful Passover song, I Dare Who. Watch and listen. Hey, Saya, do you want to sing that Passover song we've been preparing? Sure. All right. Um, let's see. We are going to sing I Dare Who. And I'm going to need my guitar for this one. Um, Adir Hu is thought to be the quintessential Passover tune. It is nearly 400 years old. And the basic gist of Adir Hu is about God's awesomeness. God is ridiculously awesome. And it goes through this list, which I'll talk about in a second. Um, and I'm also going to send the lyrics to you for Adir Hu. So... Um, what you'll find is, for you um, Hebraists, is that the lyrics in English really don't match the lyrics in Hebrew. The lyrics in Hebrew are all about building God's house soon. And what is that house? That is the temple, the temple in Jerusalem, which is really code for the coming of the Messianic age, a time of greater peace and harmony, and all of that wonderful stuff, perfect worship. You got that, Saya? Absolutely. Excellent. All right, let's go ahead and sing this for them. Adir Hu. Everybody, that was so oh, yeah. great. Oh, wow. that is wonderful. That Cantor, kid is precious. wow, Cantor Mudlu and his son. That was so sweet. In fact, dad, that that very rendition of a deer who I made you a duet with me one Passover many, many, many years ago, and I remember it well. And I've been wanting to hear it again, and I'm so glad that I did. That was beautiful. I want to I want to sing it this year. 
Oh, cool, cool. Um, and I have to say, this Mutlu uh, family, um, we have we are the biggest fans of them. Tess found them on the internet, and we have he's been a, following them ever since. He's a well-known cantor. He and he has a beautiful Kol Nidre. He's um, he's cantor for Central Synagogue. One of the cantors. Oh, oh, oh! So you you know his work? Yeah. Oh, cool, cool. And his kids, everybody's involved in, in the musical um, that they do, oh, that's which wonderful. is lovely. Oh, it's like sound of music. Yeah. Sound of music all over. Doug, um, I love you guys too. And I think you guys will really appreciate this, this next piece that we have for you. Caleb has some hidden talents. He's actually a singer and he's going to sing something for us. How good it is to all be together. <clears throat> so please enjoy my lovely chocolate Labrador, Caleb. <laughs> Shevet Achim Gam Yachad Hine Matov Shevet Achim Gam Yachad Hine Matov Shevet Achim Gam Yachad How cute! And little Joey was there. Giving him the evil eye. Oh, no. that was so. He's cute. so talented. Yeah. <laughs> He's wonderful. He sure is. Bring him out here. We can. Uh, we'll get a motion picture contract for. Him. <laughs> I, I think. Um, I think Doug sent that in response to uh, the Cantor's son, but maybe Caleb. Yeah. <laughs> well, are you kidding? No. <laughs> Cantor, maybe a rabbi. That's what Doug Cohen said. <laughs> By the way, um, I want to say Mazel Tov to Doug and Ronnie. They came out here and we, Jerry. Um, reconsecrated their wedding vows. I did indeed. And so, and, and mazel tov, mazel tov. That was Aww. lovely. And we all yeah. had tears in our eyes. We did. Yeah, we was, did. And, uh, and Doug, Tess said she sent it to you, the video. Oh, I can send it again. And she'll send it again. Okay. I don't know if it, it got in a spam folder or what, but that was lovely. You guys coming here. And we had a nice dinner. <laughs> Afterwards. Yes, come come again. You don't yeah, have to anytime. wait to the fiftieth <laughs> uh, for the seventy fifth anniversary. You can come uh, anytime, my friends. We adore you. Oh, we God. continue <laughs> with our service. Uh, we got to uh, come to reach the heights we just did with Caleb. Oh, that was that was wonderful, uh, Chelsana. We'll sing the byword of our people, the Shema Yisrael, Hero Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. <clears throat> Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. <clears throat> Baruch Shem Gevod, Shem Gevod, Malchutu, Leolam Vahed. Be'yavta et Adonai Elohecha, Bechol Lavacha, Ubechol Nafshecha, Ubechol Meyodecha, Ne'ayu Advarim Ha'ele, Asher Nochim Metzavacha, Hayom Alevavecha, Veshinanta Alevanecha, Ve'yavta Ha'ele, Hello, 
Vaderach, Usha Bechav, Kumacha, Usha Tanayo, Talia Decha, Vehayule Totafot, Pene Necha, Utaf Tam, Almazuzot, Betacha, Uvisha Decha. Painting this next thing up. Um, <laughs> Yeah, that is beautiful. Our our Chalsana is in seminary and she's studying to be a true full cantor as well as a rabbi. Don't you, I think she's going to be terrific. I know I'm her mother, right? But I think she's well, has, I'm a father and uh, I Totally agree with you. Oh, that's something we and, agree and on. And I can stand the competition. <laughs> so we, we can still live in peace, my darling. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's, it's uh, God is good. Yeah. Passover is the 22nd. That's uh, the first night. Oh. Can you tell Chelsea her mic isn't connected? Chelsea, your mic isn't connected, honey. It says... We can't have, she's muted because of it. Okay. Are you, uh, you're uh, talking, we don't hear you, baby. Okay. You're on. No, it's okay. We could do, um, next thing is Hashkibanyu. Should we do a roll-in for that? Okay. We can, you know what we'll do, Tess, uh, Chelsea? We're going to do a roll-in for Hashkibanyu. We have you on a roll-in. Okay, I'll talk a little while Tess is trying okay, to find it. it. She's got it now. And it's uh, Sadie. Oh, it's, Sadie. yeah, Sadie, who's adorable. And when you're up and going, we'll come back to you, sweetheart. That's it, Misha Bear. Yeah. Hello. Uh oh, we still can't connect with Chelsea. Oh no, Chelsana. No, um, we're still not connecting. We we. Yeah, maybe she needs to um just do her settings. Maybe just go to her computer audio. Okay. Can you go to your computer audio? Maybe that'll be better. I see Abe's hand in there, and his chest. Let's see his punam. <laughs> Abe, hey, Abe Avram, where's your punim? Can you hear us? No, we can't. It says I can't unmute you. Wow. Yeah, just go to settings. Okay, in the name settings. Go to settings. Right now it's sermon, so. Okay, uh, we'll be back with you, Chelsana and Jerry. Yes, ma'am. Do your sermon. Okay. Oh, what a got a good idea. <laughs> cool. Good. I wish I had prepared one. But I'll do this ad lib. I'll just think about uh what I would want to say. Uh it's going to be about Passover, obviously, because this is our Passover service. Uh at which time uh during Passover, uh it was a miracle. God heard us. And uh, 
He delivered us. And the miracles do not just happen. The stage is set. And then we must quietly pray for the intervention of providence after we've tried everything in our strength has been exerted to its fullest in an effort to bring that miracle to fruition. Over 2,500 years ago, we were slaves in a foreign land under the vicious name of Pharaoh, vicious rule of Pharaoh. The story of Passover is, I believe, a case in point. It is illuminating to know that at every beginning of development, which led to the children of Israel, the first act of Moses, an act which set the ball of freedom rolling, was to preach to the elders and leaders of the people and to sell them the idea that the whole business of the struggle for freedom was worthwhile. There would have been absolutely no use approaching Pharaoh and reciting the Ten Commandments, which is a contradiction to everything this vicious despot stood for. The Ten Commandments was to be the will of God for humanity, not only for that generation, but as we know, for many generations to follow. It was to be a lesson in deportment, a lesson in how to live our lives so that others would follow and make the world free of hate, a land of liberty for all humanity, regardless of the individual's race, color, or creed. So here we are with Moses, I'm taking you back a few thousand years, leading our ancestors through the mercurial desert. No water, no rain, only sand. And on top of the sand, more sand, as far as the eye can see. But there was assurance by Moses that Almighty God was watching us every step of the way. And we were happy as we were on the road to salvation, away from the horrors of Pharaoh and marching to the promised land, carrying the word of God in the holy ark. And then, da, 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 we came to the Red Sea. And here we are, thousands upon thousands of Israelis trying to escape the Pharaoh and standing in front of them was the Red Sea. Who would be the first to step into the waters of the sea as the promised land was on the other side of the river? The entire nation of Israel stopped. There were no country clubs in Egypt. As we were slaves, uh, we couldn't learn how to swim. No one could swim and everyone was frightened of the water. We were slaves in Egypt. There were no boats to take them to salvation. Our brave warriors, rather than drown, wanted to return to Egypt. But that would be suicidal as Pharaoh's soldiers were right behind us. The fleeing Israelites with their swords ready to slay each and every Israelite who wanted to escape to the free land and away from Pharaoh. We had to cross the river. 
when all seemed lost. A valiant young Israelite by the name of Nachsen, the son of Animadav, jumped into the sea. Some people say he was pushed, but they, what has come down to us uh, through history said he jumped in by his own volition. He jumped into the sea and lo and behold, the waters parted and the Israelites, our forefathers and mothers were saved as each one crossed the river as the seas waters were parted they crossed the river to salvation the land of what was to be israel however after the red sea there were still some challenges such as the wilderness the canaanites a couple of large dogs barking Eventually, we finally reached our home, Eretz Yisrael, the land of Israel, our land away from home. We were home. What a great, great, great miracle that was. So to each and every one of you and to our friends and neighbors in Israel and throughout the world, happy Pesach, everybody. Let it be one of nourishment, of love, and of accomplishment. We set out to do it under the guidance of Moses and the good Lord. And we did. Happy Passover, everyone. Amen. So Israelites didn't know how to swim? Yeah, could you imagine that? No. Oh, I <laughs> You know Jews, yes. <laughs> we don't swim very well. Well, some do. <laughs> well, there was yet. one who won, yeah, yeah. He won a lot of medals, but... Uh, Jews like me, uh, I don't go into the river. I'll go into a pool. You won't even do that, Jerry. Yeah, I will, but I'll stay on the <laughs> He was once a lifeguard uh, oh, in oh, the Catskills. Oh, can I tell that story? If you want. I was once a lifeguard, would you believe? And that was in the Catskill Mountains. And uh, the lifeguard had to go home of that particular time and the owners came over to me and said, Jerry, would you stand by the, by the, uh, 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 the pool? The pool, thank you. <laughs> stand by the pool and be our lifeguard. I said, if you want me to, of course. What they didn't know was that I couldn't swim. <laughs> <laughs> I went to uh, allay everyone's fears because nothing ever happened that anyone should be drowning. So I was there at the hotel, uh, at the uh, a kosher a hotel. Uh, it was a wonderful, beautiful hotel. And I sat by the pool as everyone came to swim after lunch. And Got it. all of a sudden, there was someone who was yelling, Someone's drowning. Jerry, someone's drowning. Words I didn't want to hear. <laughs> and I, I started to say a few prayers very fast. And I ran over to the pool. And they were right. There was someone drowning. <laughs> and they expected me to jump in and save him. Well, if I jumped in, there would have been two people drowning. <laughs> so what I did was... Thank God. God must have placed this in my head and said, "You dummy, go for the for the uh, clear the 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 uh, 
what the, net clean, the net the clean net the net the net which he cleaned the pool and put oh, it out man. to him so i said oh what a good idea thanks god i ran over i grabbed the pole and i uh, extended it to him he grabbed onto it and i pulled him to shore and he was saved well at the same time i was the head of the dining room <laughs> and I would welcome people to come into the dining room and say, how are you? God bless you. And they went to their tables. So I ran back and I was positioned at the uh, door and people started to come in. And what I overheard them speaking as they were coming into one another, they were saying, but wait, did you, you at the pool? Did it, Jerry... <laughs> It, he was incredible. He jumped in the water and he saved uh, Shlomo, whatever his name, I think it was Shlomo. He saved <laughs> Shlomo and he brought him back to the, uh, to, to the edge of the pool and, and saved his life. Well, uh, everyone came over to me and I said, oh my God, they, they were so... I never said anything. I just li listened to the praises. <laughs> What I did, I, I was even impressed with myself. <laughs> uh, at any rate, that, that, uh, it's one of my stories, everybody. And at another time, I'll have to tell you how I jumped into the ocean to save Jerry. Well, that is at another time. <laughs> well, that's another time. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, Chelsana, uh, has, I asked her, and today she worked on it, to sing... Um, we believe from the Prince of Egypt, and I we did this at the high holidays, but I'm really interested in hearing Chelsana sing this because she has such a beautiful, lovely voice. Okay, oh, I, I can hardly wait. Okay, okay, Chelsana. No, no, you're not going to hear it. <laughs> Unmute. 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 Hello. Uh, oh, there you are. Okay. <coughs> I said we're all family here. You in the desert and you uh, watching electronically somehow. Um, yeah, I was just going over it today. So we'll see how it is. It's from the Prince of Egypt. You may have seen it, the animation by Disney. Um Obviously, speaking of Moses, the Prince of Egypt being Moses, <clears throat> and it's called When You Believe. So <clears throat> I have a little music to go along with it. <clears throat> the nights we prayed with no proof anyone could hear. In the heart of hope, so we barely understood. We were not afraid, but we know there's much to fear. We were moving mountains long before we knew it would. There can be miracles. When you believe, no hope is What When you in this time of fear, when prayer so often proved in vain, hopes come like the summer birds to swiftly flown away. Now I'm standing here, I'm so full I can't explain. You can say them sweeping words and listen to my face. When we were close, when you believe, no hope is 
Oh, Chelsana, I do you know there's something wrong, I think, with your internet. Well, we could, we, you were going in and out and in and out, and I didn't want to stop you. I hear uh, Johnny said on um, YouTube it was better. But, oh. yeah, may, yeah, can uh, people who've been listening, would you just text and let us know if? how it's been for you. I'm so sorry, sweetheart. That's, that's awful. Um, oh. Wow. Hi, Donnie. Yeah. And Can she says, hello, me? John. By the way, I have given Johnny a job. <laughs> Another oh, job. Oh, Gail. <laughs> Did you, have you seen what Gail Oh, Johnny. Oh, hello, Donnie. Hello. <laughs> Oh, we we miss you too. We love you. And hello, Johnny. <laughs> um, and then Johnny is going to learn all the songs for Passover on his guitar. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, which will be a fun evening. And I have all the other instruments. So we'll be is good. Is this coming out to everyone? Yeah. Who's Johnny? <laughs> you mean Yonatan? Yonatan. Yes. His name is Yonatan. Anyway, we, yes, Tess? Gail loved your story, Daddy. Oh, yeah, Gail Runs loved your story. Gail. Gail worked in the Catskills, who was a waiter in the children's dining room. And also played basketball. Uh, so now we're going to move on to our birthdays and anniversaries. It just so uh, happens to be yes, my eldest sister's birthday. That's right. Nina. Yay! Happy, happy birthday, Nina. We're thinking of you, and we love you, and we're sending you. And, and when is the birthday? Of today. <laughs> today? <laughs> April 12th. <laughs> today, April 12th. Today, my daughter is at least 20 years old, my <laughs> eldest. Uh, God bless her. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Ninochka. Yeah. And, and uh, she's the one who started it all. And, and God bless her. I have a lot of grandchildren and expect more, of course. Uh, but... It's, it's, uh, I, I have Nina to, her beauty has kept in vogue for each of my daughters, beautiful, beautiful daughters. And Nina made you a daddy. You know, a granddaddy. And oh, a yes. Daddy. She, she made me. Oh, a, and a daddy. For the That's first right. A daddy and then uh, a grandpa uh, with the other girls, Myla and, uh, Donnie. I do have another one, right? Donnie. You Donnie. Do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, seven grandchildren in Toto and County. And it's Eli's birthday this month. And Eli's birthday is this month. April uh, 17th. That's April right. April 17th. That's right. Mm -hmm. And he's uh, he's happily ensconced in UCLA and doing very well. But he's a brilliant kid, so I don't expect any less. Uh, God bless him and all my grandchildren, each and every one of them. Mazel tov, if it is your birthday or anniversary, we have um, <clears throat> the Scottish bagpipes playing you uh, Hava Nagila as you watch the names roll down. Okay.
I didn't see our anniversary. Was there? <laughs> oh, I well, oh there we are. <laughs> yes. Happy, happy anniversary to my parents who are married yeah. 40 years, <laughs> April 2nd. <laughs> Yay. Yes. April 2nd. Do we have any pictures of them, Tess? <laughs> no. no, she was working out, honey. <laughs> not married. She um, didn't have time. <laughs> happy anniversary, honey. Happy anniversary, my darling. Oh. 40 years of marriage. The Rebbitson kissed me. And 46 yeah. of being together. Oh my God. I never very, thought. Very, very. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I keep reaching behind me because my sciatica is acting up and it's killing me. But so, excuse me. I'm not doing anything naughty back there. Anyway, yes, let us continue. Also love to all of you who are celebrating a birthday or anniversary this month. Yeah, I Joni Crosby is one of our favorite people. I saw it was her birthday too. Oh, oh a lot yeah. of it. And Howard Richman. Oh, happy yeah. birthday. A lot of Richmond kids. Yeah, Michael uh, Siegman. Yeah. Yeah, it's his birthday. And Ross Bloom is on um, April 20th. Well, it, it, 20th. We'll see him before his birthday. All right. Ross, God bless him. We're okay. moving on to the Misha Barach. For those of you who um, are in need of some healing, mind, body, or soul, this Misha Barach is, uh, is for you. <clears throat> I'll. Um, Sing the first verse, and um, my father will read the names, and then I'll move on to the second verse. Me shall they rach avoteinu mikor habracha leimoteinu. May the source of strength who bless the ones before us help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing and let us say Amen. And uh, we wish the following, a Refua Shlema, a very fast and uh, complete recovery, please God, <clears throat> to the following people. Debbie Bittix and Ken Bittix, uh, my dear friends, please, please get well. I don't want to see your name on here. I want you to get well, and, and all of you, get well fast. Ross and Philip Bloom. Yes. Roberta Dougherty. Mm -hmm. Penny Dreyfus. Stephen Maitland Lewis, uh, our resident novelist mm -hmm. who's written many books uh, with two rave reviews. Stephen Maitland Lewis. Mm -hmm. Get well, Stephen, please. Donna and Peter Paul. I've been saying that for a while. I want them to, I uh, want your name off here, Donna and Peter. Sandy Teller, my uh, dear friend from LA, my friend of many, New did I say LA? Mm -hmm. New York. New York, Sandy, uh, for many years. And Sandy, you've got to get well, my dear friend, and you will, slowly but surely. And, uh, we love you. We do, especially me, my friend. Well, me too. And Je Jefferson as well. And I'm sure my children as well. <laughs> uh, Chelsana Greenwald, uh, our cantor who you just saw, uh, she's being challenged with uh, something, but... Uh, Actually, here. a few things, but she's... I know, with, with a few things, but she will overcome... Chelsana, you will overcome, please God, mm -hmm. you will overcome. And the Honorable Judge Caprio. So to all of you, uh, 
Refua Shlema, get well and stay well. God bless each and every one of you. Amen. Amen. Doing we well. Are you going to take me off the list? All right. Here we are for Misha Berach. Misha Berach, Imotinu, Mikor Abracha, Leavotinu. Bless those in need of healing with Rafua Shlema, the renewal of body, the renewal of spirit, and let us say, Amen. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful, sweetheart. Very beautiful. And Shalom Rav, which is one of my favorite songs. And, and one of my favorite daughters <laughs> sang it. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> what, what, what Shalom did Rav? One of your favorite daughters sing it. Yes. <clears throat> Shalom Rav. Uh, <laughs> greatest blessing for peace. Yeah. And... um. It's a blessing that uh, I especially put a lot of heart uh, and soul into at this current moment <clears throat> because we are in upheaval. <clears throat> and test you have the, there it is, okay. <clears throat> Shalom. Israel Amcha to see the Olam Shalom Rabbi Israel Amcha to see the Olam Kiyato Melechadon Lechol Hashalom Kiyato Melechadon Lechol Hashalom Shalom Rav Al Yisrael Amcha Tassim Le'olam Shalom Rav Al Yisrael Amcha Tassim Le'olam Betov Enecha Levarvech Et Amcha Yisrael Mechol Et Uvechol Mishlomecha Shalom Al Yisrael Amcha Tassim Le'olam Shalom to see to see to see Yay! Wow, Tess was here harmonizing with you, Chalsana. <laughs> I find it beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, you always say that, and I never hear that. Although well, I heard you laughing at the end. <laughs> <laughs> it was fabulous, fabulous. All right. I want to thank our sponsors for this service tonight. And um, Debbie and Ken Bittix, they are always, always there. Doug and Ronnie Cohen, thank you. Katie Haber. Oh, Katie, I love Aww. you so much. Thank you. And thank and, you, Doug. <laughs> yeah. And Lana Pinkinson, who wishes everyone a happy Passover, and she wishes a happy anniversary 
to Jerry and me. Thank you, Lana. And Lana, She's amazing. God bless her. She kept in touch with me. I was uh, her rabbi when I first, uh, my first pulpit, uh -huh. which was in Burlington, New Jersey, right on uh, the bank of some river. I don't know if it was Rand Pierce. I think it was the Del uh, Delaware. Mm -hmm. But uh, I that started me on my uh, eventual many years in the rabbinate. Uh, at at this congregation, and uh, her parents are long gone, but God bless her. Uh, she never stops wishing us. Uh, I wish the heck she'd come out so I can tell her in person and hug her. Yeah, why don't you? It's Lana? been so many years. Thank you so much, my dear Lana. Uh, and who else? Uh, I I have a very special thank you, as we always do, to my cousin. Um, Joey English. Uh, she has the longest running radio show in the desert, and she sends out shout outs about our services. How we're cousins, I'm related to Jefferson Davis, and she is related to his wife. So, and I have the name Jefferson because of Jefferson Davis. Anyway, so she's been absolutely amazing. Now, we will be sending out membership renewals and high holiday reservations um, forms to you. And in the beginning of May, we're going to send them out. And we're going to um, oh plan our high holidays in, in the city where we had them last year, which everybody loved. And... Um, your memberships and your donations are so appreciated. I can't tell you. Thank you. Um, and don't forget to sign up with Creative Arts Temple as your charity with Ralph's. Um, I don't shop there very much because they're not close anymore. So I, I'll have to see what some of the other uh, stores are doing. But we, we appreciate that too. And it, it, it comes nothing from you. It comes from the, um, the store, all right? And we thank you. We love you. Okay, I think we're going to have a blessing for everyone <laughs> with Chelsana and Jerry. Yevarechacha. The Yevarechacha is a three, threefold Kohanic blessing <clears throat> for your well-being. God bless you and keep you. May God give you beauty and love and whatever it is you guys desire because you deserve it. Thank you, God. May God be ever forever in your lives and may he bless you with good health and peace now and forever. Amen. Amen. Now I wish you could have heard yeah. chess with you. Okay. Now, what? Jerry. What? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she's on tonight. Yeah, she's on. We we uh, think. But we, we should think. figure out a way how we can actually uh, do what, Tess, on StreamYard. Oh, we can? All right. All right. The Andrews sisters. Uh, well, and we should keep something. I uh, thank each and every one of you for your site donations, which keeps the uh, the temple going. Uh, the following people have sent in our donations. If I uh, don't have your name here, please call us up and tell me, please. The following, I thank, God bless you, Elton Lewis and Barbara Van Orden Bayless in memory of Sally Bayless. 
Doug and Ronnie Cohn, in memory of Alan Cohen. Joni Crosby, in memory of Peg Foley. Arlene Daniels, in memory of a, a great writer, good comedy writer, Stanley Daniels. Godfrey and Barbara Harris, in memory of Alfred Harris. Charlotte Goldberg, in memory of Elizabeth Byrne. Stuart, our former president, Stuart and Sipora Cricken, in memory of Irene Cricken. Gail Landers, in memory of Nathan Berkowitz. Joanne and Yossi Oseri, in memory of Janet Zafet, who was a wonderful, God bless her. She was a wonderful woman who had two incredible children, Michael and Joanne, and uh, we're still very close with them. Daniel Paulson, ace producer, <laughs> God bless him, and a dear friend, in memory of Bess Chanin Paulson. Thank you, Dan. Lana Pinkinson, once again, in memory of Lena Pinkinson. Thank you, dear. Barbara Lee Schultz, in memory of George Schultz. Marissa, I'm sorry, Marissa Stahl, in memory of Ruth, Abraham, Dora, and Milton Moses. Tootsie Veprin, in memory of Anna Veprin. Lucy Welch, in memory of Simon Welch. Thank you, I know all these people, and I want to thank you, each and every one of you, uh, for your donations, please God. May you all be blessed, and I'm sure you will be with long life and good health, please. And thank you for thinking of those who have passed on, never, never to be forgotten. Amen. For those of you who are in a year of mourning or observing a yard site, and if you're able to, please rise and recite the Kaddish. Uh, with my father. It kadal viet kadash me rabba. Be alma di vrachinute, be a mich malchute. Vahaye chon of your me chon of the whole bet Israel. Gala of his man Kariv, Imeru Amen. Yeshme Rabba Mavorach the Alam or Me Al Maya. Yiparach Vish Tabach Viet Pav Vit Romam Viet Nase. Viet Ada Viet Aleviat Alal Shme de Kudisha Brihu. Le Ela mean call Birchata Vishirata Tushbachata Venechimata Damidan Bialma. Imru Amen. Yehe Shlama Rabba Min Shemaya. Bechayim Aleinu Vial Kol Yisrael. Imru Amen. Ose Shalom Bimromav. Hu Yaase Shalom. Aleinu Vial Kol Yisrael. Imru Amen. You all be comforted among the mourners of Zion. Amen. 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 I just want to say, uh, my dad's yort site too is now oh. Billy Gaskin, who played the meanest trumpet. <laughs> but, and your brothers, isn't that uh, Scott? Yeah. He didn't play oh, no. the trumpet. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. But we have to figure that out. Also, Brenda Harrison says Lynn Friedman. Lynn Friedman. Lynn Friedman. Oh, Lynn Friedman. Okay. Now, reports are, I just want to finish with this word. Reports are Iran is about to invade Israel. We don't know when or where in Israel. 
Let us hope and pray that the reports are false and that our people who have seen enough and have been killed, harassed, and tortured will at long last find peace and will be able to get on with their lives. The future, however, I'm afraid is bleak, and I'm afraid there will be more bloodshed and sorrow. Let us silently pray that what seems inevitable will not come to fruition. I have family and friends from Crown Heights where I brought, uh, was brought up in Brooklyn, many of whom are living in Israel, and of course my family. I pray that the reports are wrong and that there will be no friction between Iran and Israel and no war. <laughs> We've seen enough. We've prayed before and our prayers have not been answered, but that doesn't mean we should stop praying. Let us continue. And perhaps this time, please God, our prayers will come to fruition and there will be peace. Amen. 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 Wow. Uh, may we pray for the IDF um, to continue the job and for everyone um, in Israel who uh, <clears throat> who's just uh, waiting. <laughs> I mm -hmm. guess that's all they can do right now. But and and for um, for the lives of the Palestinians, <clears throat> may as many of them as possible be safe and secure and um and i trust that yeah. the idf is doing what they can to uh to preserve lives well uh, the israeli army has been uh incredible mm -hmm. but sadly so many soldiers israeli soldiers have been killed they've been on both sides but mm -hmm. obviously the israeli ones are dear to our heart and they didn't start this war. No, it was instigated, and, uh, absolutely. We had to was, defend our land. Yes. So God bless each and every one of yeah. them. And we, we brutally lost uh, over 2,000 people. So, <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. And uh, you feel and, better. And hostages still in hostage. Mm -hmm. yeah. Who? Our hostages. Oh, yes, yeah. and, and uh, uh, I believe Netanyahu is still uh, there in Israel mm -hmm. yeah. as the overseer of Israel. Uh, and I pray that he can finally get our hostages out of um, Gaza. And, and uh, please, <laughs> some sense into our president who's a lovely guy. Jeff and I interviewed him. We met him. He taped something for us. Bibi Netanyahu. Netanyahu. Prime Minister of Israel. Uh, mm -hmm. But somehow I think he's getting some wrong advice. Well, who uh, knows? You don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Let's not get political here. Yeah. I, We're I, on different sides. <laughs> of, I'm just of sad <laughs> that we have to uh, fight again. I'm hoping that we don't have to and there is no invasion yeah. and let them yeah. all come to their senses and yes them, and as go. Tess says too many lives have been lost on both sides Much and may many. we have we may we have a peace at some point at long last yeah yeah we will pray for peace but meanwhile happy Passover <laughs> I want to tell anyone who's going to be in the desert for the second night of Passover um, if you're going to be here, call us, you come and you'll have uh, the second night Seder with us. Okay. Does uh, that sound good? It sounds good, but uh, <laughs> so, someone might take you up on it and we, <laughs> we'll have to have it in some hotel. Uh, no, <laughs> we won't. You join me. <laughs> Caleb joined you. Not only that, we just had. Uh, oh, Caleb! Hey, he had, he's after your food. I think I saw a pussy cat. I probably think I did. saw a pussy cat come down. 
Anyway, we love you all. Thank you for we tuning love you. in. This is the cake I made. Sorry, it looks a little strange. But oh, you have your cake? Yeah, it's the strawberry orange cake. Oh. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to, to share that with all of you. Yeah. Oh, Much that's love great. You. A, so, a happy, peaceful, joyous Passover to all of you with uh, delicious food. Yes. A happy and healthy. Right. It, should, it should only be healthy for each and every one of us. And May we find, us. yeah. Sorry, go and, ahead. And you too, my darling. Please be well. Get better fast. Please. I'm well. I'm well. And may we all find freedom in ourselves where we might uh, feel a little um, imprisoned, where 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 we haven't really let ourselves um, be set free. Where where are we inhibited? And um, and that's I guess something aside from wanting the world to be free and in peace. Where in ourselves can we? find some space to find to to let go of the inhibitions and find the freedom that uh that we all deserve yeah you amen. you sound like oh man uh, you're going to be a ter terrific rabbi and you, Sana. you sound like my psychiatrist <laughs> <laughs> wonderful anyway. yeah Chelsana, i love you we yeah. all love you. Thank we you. We love you. Shabbat shalom, everyone. A Shabbat happy, shalom. Peaceful Shabbat. Bye. 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 Bye.